Hello and welcome back. Um, so today we're playing a game. Now, we played this sort of similar in the past, and it's how well do we know each other. Mm -hmm. Now, we've done it before, um, but we didn't have the bells, and we didn't have We didn't have the, the bells and thing. whistles. Yeah, there we didn't. <laughs> uh, so today we're going to be doing is we have questions that our mom has made. She's behind here. Oh. You'll see her hand. There's a hand. <laughs> <laughs> so she's written up some questions about each other. And when we hear the question, we have to guess what the other person's answer is. Like, say, your favorite color. Uh, hers is, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I'll click it or press it. And then whoever presses it first gets to answer. Uh, if they get it wrong, then the other person gets to guess. And if they get it wrong, no one gets a point. But so that's right. how it's working. And whoever gets the most wins. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Number one. What is your favorite place you have traveled? Travel to. Um, California for you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yay! Yep. I got it. For you, for Assateague. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you would have right. gotten that right. Yeah. Assateague okay. Isle with all the horses. All right. Number two. What is your favorite book you have ever read? Uh, Agatha Christie, and then there were none? It's a hard question. Um, I'm gonna give you that one, because I've, I've read that more than any other book. I think I've read that, like, three or four times. Okay. So, you can All right, cool. That. Cool. Okay. Man, I don't know if I do have a favorite. Probably. That's why I didn't hit it, because I'm like, I don't know what it would be. Oh, man. I was gonna say a Harry Potter, but... Yeah, it's pro probably Harry Potter. Yeah, one of the last two books, mm -hmm. probably. Number three, what is your favorite dessert? Um, <laughs> I don't, do I know this? Um, <laughs> do you? I think you just hit the bell. You didn't know. Uh, wait, okay, hold on. Uh, <laughs> hold on. I gotta consider. Yeah. This is so hard. Uh, mint chocolate ice cream. See, again, I, as long as there's mint in it, I don't know that I have a favorite dessert overall. If there's chocolate or mint, yeah, it's okay. good. So half a point since it's not directly, but sure. It, okay, we'll go with the half a point. All right. We always end up giving half points in these sorts yeah, of games. Yeah, there's so many there's rolls so much we twist. Area. Yeah. yeah. Okay, number four. What is your scariest experience regarding cars, like when traveling or something happening in a car? I'm gonna say when you were in my first ham accident with me. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it wasn't even like that bad, but the whole police coming you, over you was so, so scared. scared. <laughs> and you're sitting there like, what are we gonna do? There's a cop. The yeah. was bad. It was just in a parking lot, and she thought she was going backwards, but she pressed. No, no, no. no. I hit. I was supposed to be hitting the brake. But yeah. I hit the gas. So she went into so, hit a parking meter. Parking meter went it, over like went flat. <laughs> And the guy was not, that's probably what made me sh yeah, like shake I scratched his truck and he was not a he happy fellow. Very mad, yes. The cop was really nice, but it was still a cop. He so. just bought his truck too. Yeah, yeah it was $40,000 like, apparently. He made it very clear yeah. that it was new and I scratched it and I felt bad. But yeah, you were just saying that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah. Okay, number five. What is the most vivid memory from childhood? A memory that stands out beyond all others. <laughs> I don't know. That's such a deep question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For you, I'm gonna say when there was a bat in our room because you legit wrote like a story on it <laughs> and then you talked about it for years. You I were, love like, telling that story. Like, you wanna hear the bat story? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go somewhere. I used to think, well, because everybody would actually <laughs> stop and stare at me when I said that. It's like, oh. It's a really exciting story. It actually, like, it happens to a lot of people. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> it was you. I it thought was it was like... so amazing. I'd probably say that, or, like, our playing outside with, like, the Star Wars Club. Like, that, too. I guess... You gotta pick one. I guess you yeah, had the bat story, because I went on with that <laughs> for a while. <laughs> and it's very vivid. Like, I remember everything that happened, so... I could probably still recite everything you wrote. I was only, like, yeah, like, five or something. Um, I'm curious what you would have said. Yeah, what would you say? Oh, it was vivid memory. You know what Lucia would have said about you. Oh, what I would have said. Um, she probably doesn't know because she didn't hit the buzzer. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, there was the one from when it was my birthday party. Yeah. <laughs> That's very vivid. Yeah. And also just playing outside as well. Okay. Number six. Let's talk survival. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're getting got a whole intro. It to sounds that one. like we're on a Wikipedia or something. Beyond survival supplies, what is the most important luxury item you would want when quote surviving unquote? Like when you're lost in a forest or trapped on a desert island, what would be the luxury item that you would want the most? <laughs> Uh, you're not big into luxury. No, not. <laughs> it's more practical. Probably something for your hair, like, I don't know, a curler or a straightener or something. Or, no, I don't know. <laughs> How would I plug it in? 
<laughs> oh, right. Now I say, uh, hairband stuff. That was not what I was thinking. <laughs> what were you okay. thinking? Well, uh, okay, so does toilet paper, is that luxury? Or no, is that, that's, that's practical. A, that's a, I would Because you could it. use leaves, so it's not really necessary, so. Yeah, I would call that, that's a survival supply. Okay. I don't know, maybe you're right, maybe it would be a hairband, because if I didn't have that, my hair would be down. That would be annoying. I guess, yeah. Yay! Oh, so she that. gets that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. What would I say? Yeah. For you. Yeah, what would you I was gonna say your vans. I mean, that was the first thing to <laughs> pop into my head. Yeah. Well, then um, how about you each get a point? Or the, the, the bell. Yeah, probably right. something with style, like skinny jeans or pant vans or something. Or I was gonna say leggings, but I'd probably be wearing those when I got stuck in the woods. So <laughs> probably. <laughs> Number seven. The most recent experience or moment in the last week that made you happy or feel warm inside. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very that her a question. <laughs> mom question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, from this week, probably when you watched the Clone Wars episode. <laughs> I think you really liked that. Yeah, probably. Yeah, the, the flashback memories of Star Wars years ago. So, yeah. The last four episodes of the, the season seven are really good. The rest of them aren't that good. Well, the other seasons are good. Just well, yeah, the other, other seasons, seasons, but just in season seven, just the last four. I'm just curious what you would say about her. I don't know what. <laughs> well, I don't know. You don't have a guess? No, I know. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Walking dogs, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we'll go on to number eight. What is a secret dream you have? To be a vlogger and really famous on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Well, not or be an editor of a vlogger on YouTube. I'm not, why do you keep, why'd you bring a vlogger? I want to play vlogger. Yes, big on YouTube, yes, but not vlogger. <laughs> so half a point. That or Four like, five. that or. You just want to be YouTube famous or work for someone who is YouTube famous and do their editing. Yeah. Or, I mean, the other answer is like be an actress. That's like a bigger I dream. I didn't know that. You want to be an actress? Well, it was a secret dream. So is that, is that your secret dream? Oh yeah, the secret. I thought you knew oh, that. I missed that part about the secret. Yeah, probably being an actress, yeah. Like a, so in a comedy show. So she because she got one of I said famous, dreams. so. Yeah, yeah. okay. Say famous. Yeah, okay. Oh wait, would you, yeah, what would you do? What would you, I guess, what would you, would you? Oh, uh, have like a chain of your business all across the country? Oh well, yeah, oh, but is that a secret? Oh yeah, it's not a secret. I don't know, I feel like I know all your dreams, <laughs> hopes and dreams. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Well, I would say my secret dream is someday I want to have a farm with like a sanctuary and take You've in told me that. all these <laughs> like, you know, stray animals, dogs, cats, horses, pigs, and yeah. just adopt them out to people and give them all home. That's my dream. Yeah. Still not that's a secret because nice I knew dream. that, but yeah. yeah you that's... sound a lot better than me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine. If you have free time, the thing you are most free likely time. to spend time doing. Knitting. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Because I've actually had free time, and that's what I've done. For you, watch TV. <laughs> yeah, probably. All right, and this is who can be the fastest to hit the bell, because you both should probably know this about each other. What is your favorite color? That's me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Purple. Yeah. Purple all <laughs> over the channel. Purple and... Now, yours, though, you always change it because it was it. blue I have and a then staple. it was gold and then it was lime green always changing I think it's either gold or blue now right yeah well my staple ever since I was little has always been like this kind of turquoisey bluish but blue. It, it used to be like a, a workman <laughs> highlight yellow green color that was it for a while you had yeah. that one shirt but this has always been like the staple oh, but yeah, yeah I've I've like been that. in my phases where I had a phase where I like gold and blue shirt. together which I still like but yeah I went through a phase where I loved getting clothes that were lime green and bright orange. Like when you would pass <laughs> construction workers and they have those reflective things. Yeah, on. that's like the that colors. That's your favorite color. Yeah. Yep. All right, well, that's my 10 questions. So All right. Should I count up? Yeah, who, I, who won? You are both equally tied. What? Equal? Why is that wow. possible? 4.5 and 4.5. 4.5 4.5. Wow. wow, okay. Well, you can't plan those sorts of things. <laughs> well, I guess we so know each know other each equally other well. Equally well. Yes. <laughs> neat Apparently we do. Yeah. Okay. Well, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, and now it is time for the news.
Once upon a time, there was a pea who was very rudely placed beneath a mattress. And then another mattress was placed on top of that, and another mattress on top of that. Soon, this poor little pea could barely breathe and was not at all comfortable. Then I suppose some sort of princess slept on it or something, but that doesn't really seem important. What happens to the little pea? Stay tuned next week. Also, a very hungry hippopotamus was seen in a children's ball pit play area in Florida, apparently having the time of her life. And now it is time for the Taylor Treasure Box! And somebody's doing uh, a chainsaw outside of your yard work time. Yep. Yep. It's summer. Would you rather ride a motorcycle upside down or drive a car with your eyes closed? Right? How would you even drive a motorcycle upside down? Well, saying you could if you're in like an acrobat or something. Like upside down on top of it. Yeah. Oh, probably that, because you could still see. If you can't see anything, it doesn't matter how good you are a driver, you're going to crash. Yeah. I'd have to tell a random fact about myself, and I know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I have an extra liquidy mouth. I, don't, I have no words. <laughs> it's true. No words. She's always, always laughing over here because every time I start something up, she has to swallow every time. Swallow, <laughs> swallow. <laughs> what are you swallowing? <laughs> saliva! Because <laughs> I have so much saliva. I am constantly having saliva just... <sighs> I'm sure they really wanted to know. <laughs> Well, there's a random fact. Um, uh, again, hope you enjoyed this episode, enjoy this game. Um, let us know if you'd like if you'd like us to do it again. And make sure to give this video a like and a comment. Make sure to subscribe. And you can comment questions that you yes. want us to ask. Right, yeah, comment that below. And if you'd like to follow us on Instagram, at Taylor Treasures Official, we appreciate that. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching that episode. Thank you so much. If you like to subscribe, please do here. subscribe to the box. What is it coming out? <laughs> and if you like to uh, watch a free, I won. Yeah. I did the longest. I wasn't trying, but I still won. <laughs> it's okay. I won. You want to watch a random episode won. over here? You can watch I that. You can watch that. You want to watch that? <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.